Hello everyone, NMB Box Breaks doing a box break on a 2011-12 Panini Titanium Hockey. I'm going to show you the time and date. It is Saturday, 10-19, December 19th. I'm going to go ahead and show you all the spots. Here we go, all 30 spots. Thank you guys. Alright, for those that are not familiar, I randomize this list and the uh, team list three times each. So here we go, and that's one, there's two, and third and final time, you got Edward K at one, down to Edward K at 30, and randomized three times. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste. And paste. There you go. You got Edward K at 1 down to Edward K at 30. All right. Now we do the teams. You see Anaheim Ducks down to Winnipeg, alphabetical order. We do the same thing. We randomize this list three times as well. There's one. There's two. And three. You got your Detroit Red Wings at 1, down to Pittsburgh Penguins at 30, and randomized three times. Copy that, and paste that here. And you'll see Detroit Red Wings there, down to Pittsburgh Penguins. Now we'll show everyone their teams, nice and slow. And there you go. Alright, so I've never done a 2011-12 type team. I've done a lot of 13-14s. Um, this one has five packs, four cards per pack. Um, there should be five, five autograph mem or memorabilia cards in each box. But like, uh, since there's not a lot of new cards coming out with the 15-16 with Upper Deck, um, I've been looking for some of the, some good prices on some older boxes, and I'm going to continue to do that. There's uh, your five packs. Because there's still the only thing I think that's new on the hockey, there's a, a black diamond box that just came out, but it, the price point on it is like $200 and something dollars a box. I think I'm going to have a tough time selling spots at that price. So, But anyway, so here we go with this box break. Um, I'm going to put base cards on the right, hits to the left, and here we go. Alright, there's, uh, there's your base card. There are parallels of the base card. They're numbered. So we'll keep a lookout for that. There's uh, another base card. Alright, here's our first hit. Milan Michalek, Michalek, Game Worn Gear, Ottawa Senators. Known player, just can't pronounce his name very well. So Game Worn Gear, you got your jersey patch. Um, let's turn it back over, see if we got any number on it. I do not see a serial number on this card. So no serial number on this. Alright, not bad for the first pack. I've gotten lucky with my last two football boxes. had a uh, Jameis Winston autograph and a Mariotti autograph card. Both the uh, last two box breaks I've had for my football. Keep that luck going. All right, here's a. Uh, it looks like here is a. Um, uh, I'm, I'm drawing a mind blank. Um, a redemption card here. Brandon Dubinsky, Road Sweaters autograph. Now, um, I think. Let me pull up. I think they said that these are either still valid. Or 
and I'm going to send it to you and you can, and you can do the research on it and see, but I, I just wanted to see if I can pull something up really quick on it Why, before I... I thought, um, I don't know if it was this box or another one I was looking at that they said the the points, the reward points might um, take place of any redemptions or or maybe that's only if, here it's, uh, no, it doesn't say, I'm pretty sure they'll still uh, honor them. I don't know if you'll get that card or something else, but, you know, um, I, I'm pretty sure they'll still honor them. So anyway, let's. I just got to figure out this Brandon Dubinsky, card number two. Let's see if it says what team. Rookie dress. This is a uh, road sweaters. Uh, let's do this here. Sorry guys. I you know I I wish they didn't do this, but. Or at least put the team name on there, right? You know, it would make it a lot easier. I'm going to go into Beckett here and see if I can um, put in the cards. Sometimes they have the team names on there when they list the cards. Let's bear with me here, guys. Sorry. Titanium, Dubinsky. Let's just put in Dubinsky here and see. Game worn gear, game worn gear. Okay, well he's you know he's on New York Rangers. I see one card. I'm just looking to see game worn gear. Road sweaters, memorabilia autograph. Brandon Dubinsky, team New York Rangers. Okay, that's what I thought. So, Brandon Dubinsky, New York Rangers. That's what I thought, but I just wanted to make sure, guys. I don't want to ever take a guess at it, you know, um, and say something wrong here. So this card will go to Brandon Dubinsky, and you can uh, get a hold of Panini and see what you can do with the uh, expiration date and that. So that couldn't go to the New York Rangers. That's your base card. It did have a value uh, on the bucket value, just so you know. It had a, um, a $25 was a, a value on that card. So nice value on it. That's what's nice with some of these boxes when the, the prices are cheap that you're still getting some good value cards in there. Like the inscriptions one I did yesterday or the other day for football. Uh, that Marcus uh, Mariotti card was, you know, $150 card. And the box is uh, relatively cheap. All right, here's Game Worn Gear for the Columbus Blue Jackets. You got Derek Broussard and is it Derek? Got it small. Derek Dorsett. All right, guys, I'll get it closer for you guys. I was just trying to read it. Let me get this. It is serial numbered out of three ninety nine or three hundred. Oh, Sorry, guys. Let's see. Sometimes if I turn it over, it works a little bit better on the back side. I can't. Come on. What? And now all of a sudden I can't get this auto focus. Come on. Oh wow. Okay. Sorry guys. I don't know what's going on today. There we go. Derek Dorsett. Or Darren Dorsett. And 287 out of 300. So cool. Dual jersey. Game worn gear, Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice card there. All right, let's see if we can get uh, some uh, autographs. Well, the one is the, the the Dubinsky card is an autograph card. I'm guessing it's a patch auto. It's a road sweater autograph, so I'm guessing it's got both. Well, I can tell you that actually on the the Beckett if I still got it up real quick. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Autograph memorabilia serial number. And it's either the serial number is either to, I got, there's a few of them, either 55 or 15. So a good low number on that. Here's another, here's our autograph Toronto Maple Leafs. 
You want his Gustafson? Private signing. Nice looking card there. No serial number on the back side. It's a nice looking card. Toronto Maple Leafs. All right, last pack, guys. All right, here's another uh, dual patch. Nice low number out of 50. Cool looking patches here. It's Chris Neal of Ottawa. And Dorset again for Columbus. When there's two teams on a card, it goes to the team on the left. If it's left to right or if it's top to bottom, it's top to bottom. So this card's going to go to Ottawa. Nice looking game worn gear. 38 out of 50. Nice low number. So this one is going to go to Ottawa. And the base card. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thanks, guys, for getting in. Um, I do have this artifacts still up there right now. Um, that's the only hockey left. I have this football real good uh, box here. A lot of spots left um, Don't be worried though guys when that listing ends on eBay. I do this break no matter if there's spots left over open uh, Another football and a basketball here. i um, trying to get more into basketball um, I'll be putting some stuff out when some new um, boxes come out um, Until the new boxes come out though guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep looking for some older ones on ho especially hockey um, I think I'm going to bring in a Crown Royal 11-12 um, uh, or 13-14 or maybe 11-12 of something else. But I'll keep looking. So appreciate it, guys. Again, if you want to buy on eBay, you can. Please leave me positive feedback. If you want to buy on my website, the prices are cheaper. Um, you can do that as well. Thanks, guys. Follow me at NMB Box Breaks. Um, again, thanks.